Now, why do I have this gun in my hand today? I wanted to come before you and address some of the internet rumor and some of the bull crap that's going around and talk specifically about what this gun has and what the features are. Hey folks, Paul Markle from Student of the Gun Radio and Television, and today what I have in front of me is the VSKA, or Vermont Stamped Kalashnikov Rifle from Century Arms. Alright, step number one, remove the ammunition source. Step number two, pull the bolt back, check the chamber, alright, good to go. Now, rather than just read off the features from memory on the top of my head, I thought what I would do is actually go to the website and read the features off specifically. How's that sound? Okay, the VSKA or Vermont Stamped Kalashnikov Rifle has a carburized 4140 steel bolt. Critical components are made of heat treated S7 steel. And all you guys out there who are steel aficionados, you can, you can look it up. Uh, the carrier, the feed ramp, and the front trunnion are heat treated S7 steel. It has an RAK1 enhanced trigger group. It has a chrome molly 4150 barrel. It has wood stock and four ends or four grips that are made out of American maple. Obviously it is a 762 by 39 uh, millimeter gun and it comes with one 30 round ra uh, magazine from the factory. Now the this right here the sling. This is a Galco slick sling. I installed this myself. It did not come with the gun. Uh, probably one of the most valuable and useful products in the Galco catalog is this sling itself. Now the gun comes with a rear sling loop on the buttstock and a front sling loop on the left side, which is pretty standard AK. You've got a slant brake up front, adjustable front sight. You have an adjustable rear sight that takes you all the way out to 800 meters if you are a big optimist. Uh, right here, the safety lever does have a notch cut in it for to use as a bolt hold open. Let's see if I can do this with one hand on camera. Aha, uh -huh, I did it. That's not standard AK, but it's an addition that they put on there. Uh, does it take away anything from the from the gun? I don't think so, and it is kind of a nice feature. And then, of course, you just have a plastic generic pistol grip and a steel butt cover so you don't screw up your wooden stock. All right. One of the big things that's going around on the Internet right now is that the headspace uh, is incorrect or bad or flawed on this gun. So what I did was rather than listen to internet bull crap, and can we be honest with each other? I think we can be honest with each other. I think we know each other well enough to be honest. The vast majority of the hatred uh, going around about Century Guns and Century AKs was started and generated and kept going by the Century Arms competitors. All right, let's be honest with each other. So I went to the Brownells website and I bought a set of 762 by 39 Go No Go Headspace gauges. One of the really nice things about Brownells is the fact that they have a lot of intelligent and well-educated people at Brownells and they've made a ton of training videos. And if you buy a product from Brownells, chances are really good that they have a video to explain how to, why, and so forth, uh, just about any product that you'd buy. And they actually have a Headspace video, uh, a Headspace gauge video, and there are other videos that you can go online and see. Now, one of the things that uh, I was taught or told to do is to treat your Headspace gauge, these, these are very precision instruments right here, these Headspace gauges. They're made of stainless steel, and you're supposed to treat them, I guess, I think they said like glass. Don't drop them, don't bang them around. Uh, they're very, very, well, they're designed very precisely to work. Now this one right here, this is a go gauge. Now how does that work? Well, in order to do this and to show you how, I'm gonna go ahead and take the dust cover off and expose the internal workings of this gun. Go ahead and remove the dust cover. If you don't know how to do this, refer to your owner's manual. But basically, you just take the spring tension off by pushing in the rear button, push that in, lift up, 
set that aside. Now, if I was going to disassemble this gun, I would just go ahead and pull the spring out, pull the guts out, and so forth. Uh, I did that when I first got this gun. When I first got it, I disassembled it. I used the frog lube solvent to get all the existing grease and oil off of it. Then I treated it with frog lube extreme, and we've shot it like that ever since. Now, in order to use the go, no-go gauges, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this back, open the bolt, see if I can do this on camera. With, I'm going to take the go gauge, set it into the chamber. Now, I'm not going to slam the bolt forward. I'm just going to allow the spring pressure to close the bolt. All right, there we go. So, the go gauge seats correctly. It's good to go. Pull it out. It ejects onto the plastic table. We're good to go. All right, now we have the no-go gauge. And I'll pull this out and I keep them separate. The no-go gauge. Again, for the camera, I'll pull this back, hold it open, take the no-go gauge, and I will drop it into the chamber. Then again, I will release the bolt. It does not close. Now, I'm not going to slam it. I'm not going to try. I'm just going to use the spring, the natural tension from the spring to try and close it. It doesn't close. All right, I'm good to go. Pull it out, set it aside. And now they do say go, no go on them, uh, but I like to keep them in separate bags so they're not banging together. Now, recently Jaeger did a video and he talked about go, no-go gauges and also there's another thing called a field gauge. I don't have a field gauge. Uh, you can get one if you want. I just wanted to do that quick demonstration because there is so much bull crap going on right now uh, on the internet about the VSKA rifle. I've been, like I said, I've been to the range several times with this gun. Uh, I have several hundred rounds through it. I'm going to continue. Uh, we recently did a cold weather test where we put the frog lube on it at home uh, in a uh, warm standard condition, took it out, buried it in the snow, shot it in, in single digit temperatures, uh, got it super hot. If you look, you can see a little bit of discoloration here. Uh, what I did is I got the barrel super hot, almost to the point where I couldn't touch it, threw it in a snow bank, covered it in snow. Pulled it back out again, loaded it up, fired it some more. Zero problems, zero issues with this gun. So this is the Century Arms VSKA rifle, the enhanced version of their original stamped receiver made in the USA AK. And uh, so far we have zero problems. And as you saw, we use the go, no-go gauges and they work just fine.